All right, guys, I'm going to go over really quick, uh, you know, something that's at least really interesting to me. Whenever you download parts or get parts from like another CAD system, you know, like my favorite format to often get is the, the parasol and we won't go into all the reasons why, but um, often people get step files. And when you're opening it in SOLIDWORKS and some of the newer versions, um, what you're going to see is um, over in the tree here, you'll have an external reference, right? You can actually insert like a step file or parasol or any other type directly into an assembly without conversion, right? But um, if we wanted to start actually making changes to that, what we need to actually do is come over here and say break link. Um, if you don't want this behavior at all, you can always go up to your settings at the top, go to import and disable 3D interconnect. Um, but it does have some advantages for sure. Um, but in this case, I wanna make some changes to this model. So I'm gonna go ahead and say break link. Right. And then I would want to think about the scope of the changes that I'm going to make here. So um, for one, I want a flat pattern. Maybe I'm also going to change the size of the slot. So uh, to get a flat pattern, uh, that's actually really easy. I, I don't need to go and do any like recreation of the features or feature recognition or anything like that. All you need to do is go up here and hit insert bends, click on the fixed face and then hit OK. And what you're going to get is the flatten and uh, process bends, which I should be able to just hit flatten now and see my flat pattern right and uh we could always make a drawing of this now if that's what we needed to do um the next thing that i want to do here is you know maybe you know this is a modification of something that i got from a different cad system so um the slot i want to go ahead and change that slot so um i could do a couple of things right i could use like uh, i could use like delete face Right? I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with this, but right, you could just go and do like a select tangency here, select all of the faces of the inside of that hole, do a delete and patch, and that face is gone, right? I could recreate it, right? But um, there's a faster way that we could do this without having to recreate the feature. Um, if we right click on the imported body, we can go into feature works here and do a recognize features. And I think often people will have kind of like, um, mixed feelings about uh, feature works. Um, I think often that comes from just using the automatic mode and not really giving the software enough feedback to really be able to recognize the, the features properly. So in this case, I'm gonna do interactive and actually tell the software what I want. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is come down here and see all the different feature types it can recognize. I'll do an extruded cut. And again, I'll use that like select tangency I used before to just to select the edges here instead of the faces. Right, and then I can select the face I want to extrude cut up to, and then just tell it to recognize the face or recognize the feature. Uh, you can see that the feature then disappears, which means I should be able to just hit OK here. And what we'll see in the tree now is an extruded cut feature, which I could come come in here, and I could dimension it just like I normally would, or you know, if I'm feeling lazy, just right click and do my fully define. Right. Um, from there, you know, you just go ahead and exit your sketch, switch it to shaded with edges, and it's just like anything. There's so many things you can do with these imported parts. Um, if you guys have any questions and stuff, make sure uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, hopefully this helps you. Have a great day.